guys, welcome to my channel. I am starting out today using Recover. This is amazing if you have any redness that you are trying to hide. It's got yellow undertones so it's not going to make you look washed out and just pop that underneath your foundation and it will cover any redness. Now I haven't got too much but um, anything I did have, have was covered and I have used it on clients. So I'm popping on my foundation next which is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I am shade N3 which always seems to be sold out, it's obviously one of the most popular ones. So I'm just buffing that in with a Morphe brush before using the Violet Voss palette. These are the shades I'm using and they have the most amazing names ever. So I'm using the Too Faced Primer Shadow Insurance and going in first of all with Thanks A Latte just to create a blank canvas to work from. So just covering all of the eyelid and then I'm putting on some tape which could have been done beforehand but I only decided last minute to use the tape. So next I'm going in with Bestie and I'm just using this one as a transition shade. So taking that one into the crease and blending it upwards and outwards. You could basically cover your eyelid with this as well if you wanted to. take Are You Kitten Me and a more tapered brush and concentrate that one a little bit more into the crease. I told you these were good names didn't I? So next I'm going to take brownie points and back to a more fluffy brush again and just, um, just put a, a small amount of that one on. And then I am taking Teddy Bear and just pulling that one along the tape, almost where your eyeliner would go, and blending that one upwards and outwards. I'm using the brush that I had the brownie points on from before. I haven't added anything extra onto it though, but I'm just blending it round. Now I am going to take Awesome Sauce and push that one onto my eyelid, taking it to around about the middle of my eye or just before the middle of my eye and then I'm going to use toffee and put that one onto the lid in the remaining section. Don't worry too much if it goes over the outer section because you're going to go over that in a second here so I'm going back in with teddy bear and then blending that one through. You can go darker here if you want, you could add a black into that section. There isn't actually a black in the palette, one thing I do think it is missing is a really dark shade, um, but I didn't want to add anything other than the Holy Grail palette. So my eyeliner there is Artist Makeup Cosmetics Extreme Art Liner Pen. I've taken off the tape and now I'm going to do a little bit of contouring. So I'm using those Morphe brushes again, the contour pack of brushes. And this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour in light. So I've used the lightest colour and the banana one as well. So if you want to see how I contour my face, if you look for my video, I will try and add the link above. But uh, Contour and Glow is my video, my latest video of contouring. So I'm just using a synthetic brush to blend in the cream contour. I find these brushes work the best on cream contours. And you may have noticed my nails. I'll put the link for those below there by Nail Her. Uh, and I have got a code for those. All my codes, my affiliate codes are listed below. So if you want any money off, just take a look and see if there's anything you want there. So I've just added powder here onto the lighter areas. So it's a very pale um, pressed powder I'm using and then this is Doll 10 Aqua Liner in Noir 
which I'm just adding to my waterline. Then I'm going to take some of those darker shades that I used above and just pop those underneath, just line the bottom of the eye and smudge that noir shadow out. Noir, sorry, the noir liner. And then I'm just taking brownie points and smudging that underneath. So again with a Morphe brush, I'm just taking that one round and taking off the extra powder that I'd left on my skin baking a bit. And now I'm going in with a bronzer just over the darker sections where I contoured the darker areas. So just taking that one round and round quite lightly really, just to create some extra depth into my skin. Obviously, if you don't want too many layers, leave this bit out. Then I'm going to use next um, a blusher. So I'm just taking the same brush and more of a pink blusher. This one is a MAC blusher. And I'm just popping that one onto the apples of my cheeks. So new bumps and lashes. I'm not sure if I've said that correctly. But there is a code for them below. They do loads of great. Um, lashes. This is Starburst from Anastasia Glow Kit. So I'm using that one to highlight, taking it on my cheeks onto the top of my top lip and then a teeny bit, not too much, onto the tip of my nose. Then I'm going to use Lipland lipstick. It's a liquid lipstick. This one is Empire and then into the very middle section I'm using Aventus. So I have used two different colours on my lips. To neaten up I'm using Painted Earth Cinnamon Sugar Lip Liner. And that will finish the look off. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please like and subscribe. And I'd love you also to join me onto Instagram. If you want to see my eyebrow tutorial, I will pop a link for that in the suggested um, bit on top of this video. So that's the finished look there. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.